is that exactly the kind of will these my people have. Not to mention their honor and sense of, du sense of duty. As long as they hold these things, hope lies ahead. We simply need to proceed toward it. Let's get started. So now we are back. All right, did I, did I do some orders last time? Yes, I did. Because last time was DLC missions. Alright, at the bottom of the Sea of Memories. Um, and I spent money. Um... Okay, everybody who is above 50 is a proud ace, I think. No, Hathaway is not proud ace yet. Okay, let's fix that. I appreciate the fact that they basically give you enough points here so that if somebody isn't a proud ace, you can get the proud, like, you can pretty much get everybody proud ace. Alright, so now, before we get started... Okay, so I really can't do the, the uh, Hathaway, I have to do a mission with, with Hathaway before I can... But yet, um... Any other upgrades I want to get? Get some of the lower 200s for their skill. Like, Amaro's like a super high skill because he's a very good pilot and everything. That makes me see where these ranks go. Um, I got a pretty low defense.
Let's put some people are gonna be deploying going out the cap ships. Save again. All right, and next map. Parallel bows and jump complete. Wow, it's beautiful. What is that? I believe it is our galaxy. Galaxy. Current corners confirmed. Currently located the space between our galaxy and the large Magellanic Cloud. The magnetic navigation system is showing that this is the new correct century dimension, our world. We made it back. I can't believe it. Whew. Now we can finally make it to Iskandar. Five months have passed since we left Earth, which means it's been four months since we were sent to the AD dimension. Given our current position, that means we are approximately three months behind our intended navigation schedule. Oh no! By the time we make at this rate, by the time we make it to Iskandar, the Earth will already have been destroyed. But a recent bosun jumping has made it possible for us to travel much greater distances in a short time. We may even be able to reverse time. First, we get the captains from each vessel together and discuss our future navigation schedule. I'm going to be downplaying some Maya Hemi acting a bit because I'm still going to go over this cold. Just heads up. Wait for us, Earth. We'll make it to Iskandar and come back to you as soon as we can. I guess this is goodbye, Akira. Yes, it is. We're in Gamma's territory now. I send a distress signal. They'll come pick me up. But I'll probably get out of here before that happens. We're planning on it. Thanks for everything, Lieutenant. I'll never forget the days I spent on the ship as part of Earth Fleet Tenku. I plan on reporting what's happened to Commander Gore to protect Commander Lion's honor. And then, back to the military for me. If I meet any of you on the battlefield, I'll have to fulfill my duty as a Gamelon soldier. Melda, I hope the day never comes. As do we. Melda, do you think we'd ever meet again as friends instead of enemies? Let's go out for ice cream together someday. I'm not really sure if that'll be possible. You shouldn't limit yourself to your duties. Sometimes I think all the constant of friends and enemies is just an illusion. Try to remember that. I know this might be a strange thing for me to be saying to a gambling soldier, but... Stay safe out there, Melda. You too, Akira. Hmm. You okay, Akira? Do you want to talk longer? We're in a race against time. We don't have that luxury right now. You're right. We have to get to Iskandar so we can save the three dimensions. Even if we manage to get there, we don't know what will be waiting for us. It's all we can do. We just have to throw caution to the wind and do whatever we can to move forward. It isn't a logical and rash way of thinking. But I suppose it is necessary. Looks like you're going to get used to how we think. She's been hanging out with Team... <laughs> uh, they might gain. What do you expect? Being so far behind schedule is a pretty serious problem, though. The automatic navigation system seems to be a solution for that. Is there anything the system can't do? It really is the backbone of this whole journey of getting the Yamato to Iskandar. The autonomic navigation system, automatic navigation system, huh? Just what is that system all about? Farewell, Yamato. Deets, detaching. Melda, don't mean you as taught as that the Gamblins are much are just as human are just as much human as the rest of us. Earth Tenku Fleet, what formation? Distortion field at maximum output. Guarding dimensional distortion. All ships, warp! They're gone. I know I shouldn't even be thinking this, but... We lock and fight well, Yamato, and all of Earth Fleet Tenku.
Warp complete. There's some kind of structure just ahead. What is that? The system could enable long distance warping. A subspace gate. So, if we can go through a subspace gate, we could instantly warp across a huge distance. According to the Detective Officer, Officer Sonata, yes. But the gate isn't in operation now, right? So what do we do then? The satellite in front of it is supposedly the control system for the gate. If we can get it running, we should be able to use the gate. So Executive Officer Sonata, Kodai, and myself are going to go out to it. Just be careful. The satellite is unoccupied. It shouldn't be a problem. Right? All right, we're off. Be back soon. So, we should be able to make up the time we've lost in our schedule if we can just use that subspace gate, right? NCC Dimensions Earth only has seven months left. Even so, we have to think about the time to get back, how to get back, so we need to reach Iskandar within a month. Or we'll be able to hold back the fusion to FaceTime forever back there. We need to act as quickly as possible. Oh, looks to be a promising leader. According to Ryoma, he was apparently born of Getter Radiation himself. I don't know much about him, but he seemed to be a reliable, reliable asset. What we do with all this information from the Yamato's automatic navigation system? Right. What we do with all this navigation from the Yamato's automatic navigation system? Apparently delivered by a messenger from Earth to Earth from Iskandar. It's kind of like the thread that holds the Earth and Iskandar together. Definitely. Without it, I'm sure we'd all be deaf, completely lost in space right now. And that would get us in trouble because we'd be crossing over with a completely different franchise with no get. Oh. With only human sized robots. Everyone else feeling tired? Yeah, actually, maybe because we're feeling relaxed after our first warp, pretty sleepy. Uh, yeah, but life and close to time to switch out post yet. Oh, come on, it's fine. Let's just take a little nap. Ready to pull the Yamato. Oh, Mayos. So there's actually one, one of the unlocks is getting three commanders up to commander level four or five. They only, they only deploy two. Actually, you know what? Now I just go C, and they can deploy the um, we'll use for that one. And let's do Narhal Ardua. Cosmo Seagull has launched, heading toward the system satellite. Now we just have to wait to hear from Kodai. Sitting around waiting is always the worst. Why do I feel tired? So tired all of a sudden. I think my mind is sinking deep into the ocean. I knew there wouldn't be anyone in here. It's over with to get back to Yamato. What's wrong, Kodai? Getting scared? No, I want to hurry up and get the hurry up so we can get to Iskandar as fast as we can. Also, something just doesn't feel right. Really? What's up? I feel the same thing. It's hurry. What's wrong? Do you believe in a kind of intuition, too? The funny thing in this world that can't be explained with reason or logic. Check out two opposite people could be good friends. Friendship can be a mysterious thing. So anyway, um, this system was built by a civilization even older than the Gamelons, right? So it seems. Since in Deeps, there are several civilizations with histories that stand further back than the Gamelons. So if one of them decided to attack Earth like the Gamelins, we'd be in real trouble. No wor need to worry about that. They've all been eradicated through years of long wars. Fortunately for us, this isn't this series doesn't involve um, a race of artificial intelligences going through the galaxy in a regular pattern, cleaning out any civilizations that have advanced beyond a certain technological level. Which I may or may not have done a let's play of the third and fourth games in that series of, on my YouTube channel. I guess the history of space is full of war, too. This Kandar is the rare exception, and they have the extending helping hand to us, unlike others. 
Dimensions or knew about them, then they likely helped also the ability to travel freely between dimensions. However, the messenger sent from Iskandar and attempt to save the Earth sadly lost her life, which reminded me of this. Before her, there was supposedly another messenger from Iskandar who visited Earth. I think her name was Eurisha. I wonder what happened to her. Hmm. What's the matter? Supposedly I was taking care of her on Earth? Oh, that's right. You don't remember anything from before a year ago, do you? Right, so I don't know what she was doing now or anything like that. Hmm. You know something, don't you, sir? Please, if you know something, tell me what happened to her. What's good time as any to tell you the truth? The truth? What do you mean? You and Yurisha were both in the same accident. The accident that caused me to lose my memory? At the time, it's not known to be a sim a sim just a simple accident, an act of terror, or something else. But in that accident, you lost your memory, and Yurisha lost consciousness and fell into a coma. We did everything we could to care for her, but she never came out of it. Why didn't you ever tell us about this? See, Rose doesn't know where exactly his candor is in the large Magellanic Cloud. What's up to do with So the root map you see from Iskandar, though, don't you? Yes, exactly. Instead of restore the on an automatic navigation room, right? There is no map. Huh? Yurisha is supposed to show us the way the Iskandar. Wait, hold on! Then how did the Yamato make it out this far? It followed her memories. What? How is it even possible? Yurisha is inside the automatic navigation system. What? We are en route to Iskandar by tracing her memories. That's insane! Except in, like, Captain Harlock, which came later, um, you have the consciousness of Tadishi Daiba. Well, not Tadishi Daiba, um... Matochiro, um, Harlock's friend, the designer of the Arcadia inside the ship. This is a thing... I am getting the impression that this is the thing that Liji Masumoto likes, and he likes the concept of a ship having a consciousness not just metaphorically, but literally. I'm not saying that's right, it's what it is. I deal with this guilt every day. But let me get her back to her home, to Iskandar. That is the true mission of Yamato right now. I've got a message in from Yamato. Emergency. Executive Officer Sonata, Tactical Officer Kodai, Operations Officer Mori, return immediately. Analyzer, what's happening? Analysis not possible at this time. Executive Officer Kodai, heading back to Yamato, now. Hey, you awake? Tose, you have to live on. Ed, Ed, Mom, and you. I have experienced such a terrible nightmare. We mustn't spill our blood, our honor like this. What? One day, all will be restored. One day. Who are you people? I consciously mixed with someone's memories. Hey, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? Nine, is that you? What happened? You just suddenly fell asleep. You just suddenly fell asleep. Me? While I was walking? It was not just you, it happened to everyone here. Since you were fine, since you were fine, it must have been some kind of gas that only affects biological life forms. Either that or some kind of psychic attack. Nine, is anyone else up and about? Everyone in the Brave Express Corps and Al are fine, but are unable to move from the hangar bag. But Analyzer, he's a robot too, so he should have been affected. Analyzer is busy controlling the ship now. So only you and I can really do anything then. No, actually there no, actually there's one other person. Huh? You're Misaki, right? Misaki, who is that? The ship is moving. The ray motion engine is engaged. Get a hold of yourself, Misaki. We're the only ones who can move. Fine, I will go. Where are you going? Go look at the wave motion engine. Nine, how are things going over there? Not good. The crew is... Not good. The crew is not waking up. I must have been lucky to be able to resist staying asleep. Your consciousness mixed with hers, who did not seem to be sinking to the sea of memories. Her consciousness is not like that human, so she couldn't not couldn't be completely controlled. You mean nine? Those voices I heard must have been those of the resources research into the technical lab, tactical lab who made her. I knew it. It's a wave motion engine. She's here. The engine has stopped. Who are you? 
Why are you able to move within my psychic attack? Are you some kind of intruder? He has no physical form, so she's like a ghost or something. My name is Miranel Linky. I drowned the crew of the ship in the sea of linked memories in order to control. You're a Zerillion. You're a descendant of Aqu Aquarius, no? They use mental psycho waves to make people hallucinate and control them. How do you know such things? Well, I get it. You use those ruins to dig over the minds of the crew on this ship. You can't let you dig over this ship that easily. What the? Now I release the part of the power of the wave motion engine. Now your soul will be lost forever between dimensions. I feel like there's like a full episode of Yamato 2199 here that we just completely skipped over. No! Ah. It is over now. Sorry about that, had to blow my nose. Still getting over this coal a little bit. That ghost was an operative for the Gamelins. Mm. Saki, tell me, who are you really? This Rocky, are you okay? Saki, are you hurt? Yuki! What? Oh, I guess you don't recognize me like this. Aren't you Misaki? No, I'm... I'm Yurisha, this Kendar. What? Actually, I should probably use the British voice for her then. What happened to us? It seems as though the crew fell into a comatose state caused by second attack from our enemy. Mori? Where's Misaki? She fell unconscious, so she is in the med bank. The alert. That was indeed an enemy attack. There'll be more to come once they find out their plan failed. Gamblin's approaching from our 12 o'clock at a distance of, of uh, 10k and closing. 10,000 closing. Who would have thought there'd be a subspace gate here? This is a forgotten quadrant of space. We are the descendants of the Zerillians. These are the ruins of Aquarius. Though now, if you know gone, I have become the only remaining Zerillian survivor. Information, Mr. Testella. Since your plans have been failed, please. Your space Nazis need the correct language. Hope, oh, accent. Public. Public information, Mr. Testella. Since your plan seems to have failed, please leave, leave the plan the rest of the me. Understood. I look forward to seeing what the one they call the, call the Space Wolf is giving away. Find the Domo. Terran forces have appeared. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.